The first one is showing you the water bottle and a drinking straw and some items that you probably already have around the house. Let's get started. This necklace just takes a water bottle and a drinking straw. And it's really cool because it's using these more inexpensive plastic bottles and you can make lots of necklaces from one bottle and let me show you how. First thing we're going to do is you're going to draw your pattern onto this side of the water bottle and I just take a craft knife and cut off the top and then I take a pair of scissors to cut it out very easy to cut and then I have one already cut and remember that the hole is cut out of the center and then I rip some fabric strips and to do that all you do is take your fabric do a little clip and then rip it and you will need to iron these so that they're flat and I have some here to start this, you're going to put a little bit of glue on the back side of the piece of water bottle, put the fabric into it, and then you just start wrapping. And when I get to the corners here, I put a little bit of glue to help the fabric go around the corner. and then kind of pull it a little snug, put maybe a little bit more glue to help hold it. Back around and you just completely cover it going all the way around, putting glue in all the corners. When you get to the end, if you need more, just glue another piece onto here to finish it. I have one already started here. They're already wrapped. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to paper punch through the fabric and through the water bottle. With these lighter weight water bottles you can go right through the fabric and it's just an eighth of an inch punch. I then put a jump ring that's about a three eighths inch jump ring right through the hole. Now on this piece I did wrap it with some, on my um, sample I wrapped it with some embroidery floss and some beads to kind of decorate it. But to actually make the necklace, you need probably about 30 inches of three different colors of embroidery floss. You're going to tie it to the jump ring in a knot. And then you just take each piece and you start to put your beads on. But I also have made some beads out of uh, the drinking straw. So let me show you what I did with those. Just cut your drinking straws into oh, probably about half inch pieces take your little strips of fabric that you've already torn and you've uh, ironed them, put a little bit of glue on the end, put your straw in, and then put a little glue on the end of the fabric like so. And there you have your straw beads. Now you can make them longer and just wrap them. Some of them on my original one I did that. So then you're ready to put all these on maybe some of your beads and I think on this one I already have we have one bead on there let's put some of these colorful tiny little beads also on the embroidery floss if you put a little glue on the end of it and then you kind of twist it it makes a great needle so we're going to put some of these on for the extra color. Also, if you use the glass beads, it helps the necklace to be a little bit heavier. And that way then it hangs, it hangs better than just being really lightweight. Uh, we're going to put on one of our straw beads. 
and you can see how that's starting to to take form. So you're going to cover all six of these all the way up for however long you want it. It might be that that 30 inches isn't how, how long you want it. You want it to be shorter. Be sure you measure when you get up to a certain point. And then at the end I'm using, when you get them all on and you have these three strands of, after these are all full and you have these three strands of embroider floss, there's this cool little finding that actually holds a uh, like the same thing like the either yarn or string where you put this onto the string you put your three strands in it like so and then you take a pair of pliers and just push it push both sides over push one side over and the other side over and then it holds on to all your strings it has a little ring on here so that you can take and attach a jump ring to it and then you can attach your lobster claw and let me bring the piece in here too. This is the original piece that I did. It has the three strands on each side. And you can see how I covered the, the um, main piece. And like I said, there are lots of glass beads in here, which makes it heavier so that it's just not floating. Because sometimes with this lightweight piece, it just, it just kind of floats. So the heaviness of the glass, glass beads works really great. Here's my class. Perfect necklace wonderful to be recycling all of our water bottles.